Hey, world. Mm -hmm. Earth. What are you doing? Just watching the Olympics. Ew. What do you mean? Nah, no, never mind. Listen, I was thinking, there's something we need to talk about, yeah? Uh, okay. Shoot. Um, biracial people. Buy what? What do you wanna buy? Oh, you wanna go to Dubai? You really have to stop watching TV that much. Anyways, nah, I mean biracial people, you know. Mixed race people, people of dual citizenship, intermarriages, you know, that kind of thing. The mix-ups. Oh, so what about them? Yeah, so it's occurred to me that, you know, they're having a hard time in some parts of of you, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, sometimes I'm ignorant. I mean, can you please enlighten me? Yes, of course, that's what I'm here for. So let's say if two people from different parts of the world get married and say the mom is Asian, maybe the father's white, the mom is black, the father's white, and maybe they're from different countries. So the child or the offspring is going to come out, you know, looking and behaving a certain way. So basically, this is what we call a mixed race person. So they're basically biracial. So being biracial means you got heritages from two different backgrounds. Are you still with me? Yeah, of course, go on. Yeah, and so, I mean, this is okay. We can't expect these people to behave as if they are from one country and not the other, or from one race and not the other, you know, because they are a combination of two places. And in so many places in the world, they get so much pressure. So say if someone is uh, maybe half Portuguese and maybe half Kenyan, so Kenyan people will expect this person to behave Kenyan and represent Kenya. And Portuguese people will expect this person to behave Portuguese and represent Portugal. Whereas they are a combination of the two places. So they bring a unique perspective to things. Uh, yes, you know, I mean, sometimes I'm just not used to it, you know. Nah, that's okay. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to enlighten you. It's the same thing like with someone who has dual nationalities. So say their parents are born in one country, but they were born and raised in another country. Most of the time, these people also feel like outcasts, you know, sometimes people from both countries wouldn't accept them as their own. Well, this is because there are mixed nationalities. So you can't expect this person to walk and talk a certain way and forget about the heritage from the mom or the father's side. The way I look at it is these people are special and unique because for example, it takes us years. Sometimes it takes us weeks, months, whatever it may be, to study and understand the culture from a different country. Now imagine this person growing up understanding two cultures, two different types of cuisines and dress codes and everything. I think this is unique knowledge and it's quite special. Oh yeah, you're right. I mean, if you put it that way, that kind of makes sense. It's unfortunate sometimes, I mean, because I just didn't understand them, so I was kind of afraid of them and to be honest, sometimes, um, yeah, it's okay. Come on, you can spit it out. I'm here for you. I know what you want to say. Yeah, I'm not proud of it, but I mean, sometimes out of envy, I mean, these people sometimes have the best of both worlds. And it's something that I never thought was possible, you know, and, you know, sometimes I treat them bad, but I'm sorry for that. I do apologize. Yeah, you're right. You know, sometimes people do things out of envy and turn out to discriminate against other people but you're right once again they do have the best of both worlds in fact in my opinion mixed race people dual nationality people these people are the most beautiful on earth you know why because they have the best of both worlds ah this reminds me of that blade guy in fact he just made a cameo in the latest deadpool movie right Ah, classic Blade, yes. He has all of their strengths and none of their weaknesses. I like that film too. I dig the character. So we all just one race, you know, one group of people. No differences? No, we are different and that's where our beauty lies. But we are one species. It's like sort of like dogs, for example. You don't see a poodle saying that a pit bull is not a dog. I mean, they are different, but they're all dogs at the end of the day. Is that what you mean? You know what, Earth? You're such a quick learner. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Uh, one more thing I just want to ask you. I mean, this is a bit of a personal question. Um, are you flat? <laughs>